Okay, guys, I'm an idiot and I regret everything. Don't be like me. Stay tuned and find out how. But first, some quick YouTube stuff. It'll help me out a lot if you like and subscribe to my channel to help YouTube know that my content is awesome and that they should show it to other people. Thanks. So why am I an idiot? Um, because I really regret my last few purchases on Steam. And why do I regret those so badly? Because I didn't want to try out and didn't, didn't really understand what Game Pass for PC is. Well, I guess it's Xbox Game Pass for PC. And I think that's why I was confused. I think if this service has a major negative, it might be its branding, or maybe I'm just dumb, as we started out with. But I was under the impression that Xbox Game Pass is mostly a Xbox thing. And I mostly play on PC, so I wasn't really that into it. I was sort of aware there's some kind of Xbox Game Pass for PC, but like, what is that? I don't know. I didn't really look into it. So I'm happily playing my games on Steam and buying my games on Steam. And then uh, somebody finally convinced me, look, try out Game Pass for PC. And I was like, really another subscription service? Why do I want another subscription service? Well, trying it out was $1. I'd buy that for a dollar. I finally signed up. What did I get for my money? A lot. So let's start out with the number one positive for Xbox Game Pass, value. You get at, th at this moment, I think it's 200, maybe more games on the Xbox Game Pass with your subscription. And 200 or more games, well, they're all junk, right? They're just junk, they're garbage, it has to be garbage. They aren't garbage. The games are actually good, guys. <laughs> They're like actually good. Now, granted, it's gonna be more than a dollar as my initial one month wears off. It's gonna be $10 a month, or if I spring for the ultimate version, $15 a month. Let's do some math. I'm actually a math teacher, guys. Did you know that? Yeah. Anyway, so let, let's do a little bit of math. Let's say I bought two AAA $60 games a year, and that was my gaming budget, two. Two games in a year. I'm guessing a lot of gamers buy a lot more than two games per year. But let's say I buy two games per year. I get those two games for $120. Guess what else I could get for $120? 12 months of Xbox Game Pass at $10 a month. And guess how many games I get? More like 200. So wait, is that 100 times the value? Well, sort of, and that's all subjective. But the point is, that's a really good deal. Like, too good of a deal? Does Microsoft even make any money on this? And the answer to that is questionable. Um, Microsoft, you may or may not know, has lots and lots of money. Last I checked, they were almost a $2 trillion company. And so they make like $120 million of profit per day. That's a lot of profit every single day as a company. So can they just like, throw money at this stuff to give people value? Yes, they can. And should we take advantage of that? I think so. If Microsoft wants to blow a whole bunch of money on this to give me awesome value, I think I should take it. Let's bring back to other reasons why I hadn't got Xbox Game Pass for PC earlier, other than not really understanding it. Well, I've had bad experience with buying PC games from Microsoft in the past. So their Windows Store, um, hasn't always had a great history of buying games on it and actually having them download properly and work correctly. But I have had zero issues with any of the games that I buy through the Xbox app on the PC with the Xbox Game Pass. Absolutely no issues, worked flawlessly. Now, some of the games aren't particularly optimized for PC, but that isn't really Microsoft's fault with the Game Pass, that is the fault of game publishers just focusing on consoles, and you'll see that issue on other versions of those games bought from other stores as well. Why else would you be hesitant to get the Microsoft Game Pass? Well, it's a subscription service, and you don't actually own the games. But you can buy them when they leave the service, and guess what? If they've been on the service for uh, at least a few months, you're gonna get at least 10% off, and if they've been on there longer, you're gonna get at least 20% off the purchase. Let's do a little bit of math. Let's say the game would normally cost you $50. 20% of 50 is $10. Why does that matter? 
Well, that's the price of a month of Game Pass. So let's say you're gonna end up buying these games anyway. Well, if you get a 20% discount on the game, which you're getting because you're buying it through the Game Pass thing, that's actually gonna pay for itself. Okay, so really incredible deal, really incredible price, uh, lots of games, and like, let's go back to games again. The games are actually good. They're not just flooding it with trash to provide value. Let's get into the biggest thing for me. This service has actually changed how I play games and what games I play, and in a good way. You can actually think of this as like the best demo service ever. Okay, I'm a little bit older than maybe some of you guys are. And when I was a kid, sometimes you'd get your like gaming magazine, it would come with a demo disc and you could try out some game demos to see if you'd like the game and then maybe you'd buy it. Well, on Game Pass, I have the ability to download and play any of those games. I get the entire full game. Let me give you an example. I would never have bought Forza Horizon. I am occasionally interested in racing games, but they're not the major kind of game that I play, and I'm not gonna shell out something like 60, 70 bucks for a racing game like that. I'm just not gonna take that risk, considering there's a good chance I'll hardly play it. On Xbox Game Pass, I got to try it out. I liked it. It was actually really fun for a while. Still don't think I would have paid $60 for it because I got tired of it after you know five to 10 hours, might not have been worth my 60 bucks. But I definitely got part of my, uh, like a fraction of my Game Pass subscription fee uh, worth of value out of that. And I would not have tried the game otherwise. What other stuff? More indie kind of things. Um, Human Fall Flat. Game's hilarious, check it out. I would have never even heard of it if I hadn't got the Game Pass and definitely would have never bothered paying any money for it and trying it out. Game's hilarious and really fun. But do they have really like PC games, right? Do they have CRPGs? They absolutely do. I mean, Microsoft now owns Obsidian. Obsidian develops some really excellent CRPGs and that's not the only company that Microsoft owns. So that gets me into another point. The value is just getting better not worse. How is the value getting better? Well, again, Microsoft has purchased ZeniMax recently, and ZeniMax owns a whole bunch of really big things like Bethesda, and Bethesda owns things like The Elder Scrolls, and Fallout, and Doom, and uh, big major games that you probably are interested in, Dishonored, things like that. So, Microsoft owning those things makes them pretty likely to come to Game Pass if they haven't already, including future titles. Are, are, are you still even thinking about this? You can try it out for $1. $1, guys, $1. What else can you get for $1? If you disagree with me or have any concerns about this, questions, comments, let me know. Love to talk about it in the comments. Hope you guys have an excellent day.